Welcome back to MSNBC Live. I'm Carlos Watson. Now, the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office has subpoenaed medical records and files from doctors who treated Michael Jackson. Now, could the probe into Michael Jackson's death turn to a criminal case? Joining us now is Dan Abrams. He's the CEO of Abrams Research and NBC Chief Legal Analyst. And back again is my co-host today, Gene Chatsky. Um, Dan, so I'll start with you. So how serious is this going to get, and does it have any precedent in terms of aggressively going after doctors who may have overprescribed medication? Yeah. No question there's precedent in high-profile cases. I mean, in high-profile cases, when you have a death or a severe injury and people believe doctors are responsible, you don't want to be the doctor. Uh, at the very least, it means you're going to have to deal with a lot of administrative uh, investigative uh, issues. But remember, these are very complicated investigations. Why? Because there are a lot of doctors here involved. And you could have one doctor who legitimately prescribed one thing and another doctor who legitimately prescribed something else and another one the same thing. And then Michael Jackson, without telling the other doctors, decides to take a cocktail. I'm not saying it's what happened, but I'm saying that that's why these these kinds of investigations are very hard to necessarily show that a doctor improperly uh, prescribed certain drugs. Interesting. Well, well, we expected this was coming. I mean, yeah. from the very oh, yeah. first day where you read the reports of the big shot of Demerol, and I'm no prescribing anything, but um, you could tell that there would be some sort of investigation going on. I, I think you're right. I wonder if going into the future, barring the uh, cocktail idea the the whole computerized medical records will will actually make oh, oh, this oh, easier well, you know wh whether whether one doctor knowing what another doctor has actually prescribed or one pharmacy knowing what another doctor yeah. has actually prescribed will help make these sorts of investigations go smoother see i bring a little more cynicism to it because because my feeling is that the doctors know they're over prescribing but they know they've got a star there and they're going to give the star whatever well, she or he wants there was an amazing story on the today show mm -hmm. this morning where a uh, an actor who was retired, they didn't show his face, went into a doctor's office with a wad of cash and came out with a bag of pills and prescriptions for Oxycontin, I believe Vicodin, Cialis, and God knows what else. You're, so you're saying five minutes in and five out? Five minutes in out, they asked the guy, were you examined? And he said, I didn't even take my shirt off. That sounds like the wire. <laughs> yeah, look, and look, I think you have every right to be cynical. Yeah. I mean, the bottom line is when you look at the sorts of drugs Michael Jackson was taking, you have to say to yourself, how the heck did he get them? Um, and the problem is, on some of these drugs, there was no prescription label on it. Uh, they're going to have to figure out how he got it. Uh, he may have gotten it illegally, uh, et cetera. So, again, we don't know the answers to these questions, but I think that you don't want to be one of these doctors right now. Dan, Dan what else are the interesting legal issues that still remain uh, now that the King of Pop, his, uh, his public memorial has come and gone? Are there other significant legal issues that we should be Cust interested in? Custody and money. I mean, those are going to be the two big legal issues. And so what do you think will happen custody-wise? Uh, it depends if De what Debbie Rowe does. Uh, if she turns out to be the biological mother and she decides to fight for those children, she has a very good shot of getting them. Um, she, she, has, she has a very even, good shot of getting yeah. them. Even, even are you though, about to go yeah. where I am? Exactly. Yeah. Even though even she though, has yeah. said on yeah. camera, they don't call me mother, I yeah. don't want that, well, that's they're the Michael's thing. children. It, it may, but that may be a reflection of the fact that she's not going to actually seek to get them. Uh, you know, and that's going to be the real question here. Because, again, when, when the other person we know who wants these children is Catherine Jackson, who is almost 80 years old. Um, it, it's going to be very hard to say to the biological mother when, when the other choice is someone who's 80, even though she's had much more time with the children, no to her. Dan Abrams, uh, Gene Chasky, thank you. We'll keep this conversation right. others going in just a moment.